Okay, easy, Tiger. I like easy, 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 easy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, hey, hey. Does this show how they cut up? You Dirty, I think. Play Valorant? Nah. I one is the only way I'm playing Valorant is if, if, is if Josh wants to play. I'm gonna lie. Uh, is he hemply healed? Nowhere near. I'm gonna lie, nah. Hey, what'd you say you are? Probably a time nobody. You have a pain like in the gym. I wasn't lying when I said these guys are lying. Seen this? Oh, everybody's seen this. Oh my God, Retro probably seen this too. I should just not watch it because everybody else seen it, bro. And I should just not watch it, bro, because everybody else seen it, bro. bro. Yeah, damn. Hello, folks. I'm Tommy G. I'm here yeah, with the see, most wanted drivers in New York. York. But they say, and, 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 and they're not, but they're not supposed to say. Hey, you already know what's going on. I love the dream team. It's a buck. It's gonna be a wild ride. One day in the safety of my home in Milwaukee, I started to get bombarded by Say DMs and two drivers named Squeeze Benz and Where's 9 Billy Watson's ready? I looked at their pages, they're driving shock. Bill Watson? I would describe their videos as daring, dangerous, and reckless. I'm fascinated by the human desire to push limits and go against the grain. I'm hey, fascinated Bill, by the daredevils and outlaws crazy. of the world. Young men in particular love to do this in a variety of ways. Evil Knievel shot himself out of a cannon. Philip Petit tightrope walked so across the Twin Towers. Yeah, Alex yeah, Honnold really climbed that. up cliffs without a rope. And fighter Darren Till cut weight until he went blind. The question that comes to mind when you look at this behavior is what compels someone to push themselves to such length and risk injury or death. In today's video, we yeah. daredevil behavior in the form of reckless drivers who are causing outrage and fascination across New York. Police tried to pull over a car on West 38th Street and 7th Avenue. The driver sped off, slamming into cars, driving on the sidewalk and even hitting a dining shed. But there's a twist in the story because these guys don't just risk their own necks in the stunts. They also risk the lives of innocent pedestrians. And the yo, yo, what the these guys regularly go on also risk the lives of innocent pedestrians and the law enforcement that chases them. These guys regularly go on police chases and evade police helicopters. Today, we interview them face to face and talk morality, Is ethics, that danger, wait, 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 was that that one? Did you think you oh, wait, wait, right? wait. So, but, by ages, their human desire to Why push did it just go all the way back? The like a weapon of mass destruction? Like, what do you think of that? Just... Squeeze bends and wears 981 driving. Wait, wait, hold on. It only takes one bad crash to ruin your life or someone else's. Facts. Please drive responsibly. Thank you. I will. You two with the effing son. Take for two of my carbon in my section. We wanted to know how everyday people felt about this kind of driving. We had some extra time to kill at the New York airport, so I went around showing people videos of Squeeze Benz and Where's 981 driving. Here's what they had to say about it. <laughs> What do you think of that? It's just dangerous. <laughs> I think if the police go off them, it's a bit dangerous. Was everyone else at risk? He's probably going to. Yo. You said what? Go, go on Discord. I'm trying to watch that video you watching. But I don't want to talk to you. I fuck you then. <laughs> I'm a dead joint, I'm a dead joint. I don't wanna I don't wanna talk to him. I'm just to go on. Hold on. He misses me. Lame ass nigga. I'll slap the shit out of him. Shut up, stupid Miss City. Come on, join. They say he sound like an obsessed ex. I don't know if you, I don't know if you know, chat. Mikey has like attachment issues with me. He's gonna come in here after I just said that, and he's gonna get tight, and he's gonna start spazzing. But don't worry, I'll humble him really, really, really quick. But don't worry. Yeah, there's some close calls. Just watch that, King. Just watch that. Thinks he's in a video game. Yo, Mikey, you know what I really, you know what I really wish? What? I really wish that. Would have been recording when I was cutting up with that lamb truck in that lamb truck, bro. I think, I think, I think but I, I was definitely recording, bro. I just gotta find the video. Wait, you think you got that? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, nigga. Nigga, we almost had a near death experience. Bro, the cameraman, cameraman never died, uh, brother. Nah, you gotta try to find that. You gotta try to find that, Mike. You gotta try to find that. I got you. I got you. Two of my in my section. 
We wanted to know how everyday people felt about this kind of driving. We had some extra time to kill at the New York airport, so I went around showing people videos of Squeeze Benz and Where's 981 driving. Here's what they had to say about it. I could just tell what the niggas not a driver. It's just dangerous. <laughs> I think it's yeah, just cool tell. off and it's a bit dangerous. Was everyone else at risk? He's probably going 120, 130 right now. See how there's some close calls? I feel like he thinks he's in a video game. That stuff pisses me off. So I got kids that are on those roads too. When that guy hits one of my kids, he'll say, I don't know what happened. I could tell this guy a million times, hey, you're going to kill somebody on the road. He's going to do it anyway. What do you think about that? It makes me mad. I get it. All kids, they're bred to do that, right? But it's still, it's irresponsible. If I told you that this guy's gotten Listen, away from not only multiple no police, but also We're not helicopters. Take him. Oh, no, no, no. What's your reaction on that? I believe it. I just feel like it's really selfish. I feel like he should get She's a not lying, and but taken away I mean, for some period of time. And that niggas not really just don't give a fuck and they want to just take whatever. That nigga got a license? Who are victims what? Of that, nigga, that nigga don't got a they, she said. She said, I think he should get his license taken away. You think him not having a license is going to stop him from doing oh, what he's doing? Oh, fuck no. Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> nigga, the way he's going through traffic, he can just get loose. People I think it should be him? commensurate with right, like, I attempted manslaughter I got to call out the help in the room. Like, I mean, yeah. are you taking this down? Be honest. You said what? Are you taking this down? Are you taking her down? And she say, you're such a tall black man. And she, and she, and she grab your arm. She grab your arm. She rub it. She look at you. She looking up at you crazy. Are you taking it down? I ain't gonna lie. If I'm horny enough, <laughs> so what? What does that mean? I don't understand. What do you mean? If I'm horny, like if I'm drunk? No, I'm talking about you. Just came off your flight. She see you. You bought it. You bought. You waiting for your Uber to go to oh, the yeah, hotel. Oh yeah, just because. Just, be, just because. That's gonna be a crazy story to tell my homeboys. Like a milf just ate me up in the airport bathroom. Oh, no, no, she says she wants to go to your telly with you. Like, she says she wants to show oh, you. Nah, so you don't nah. say you ain't never seen before. Like, no, nah, that's too much. What? you not taking that? We, Yo, Rimmy, Diddy, I appreciate gotta, you. We got to get it on where we at. I ain't about to wine and dine this bitch. Like, too much. In an airport. Mm -hmm. You know, if you get caught, like, you're, you're, first of all, you're getting, you're getting put as a sex offender and you're on the no fly list. But I'm not going to, that's the thrill. That's in effect. Yeah. You're putting people at risk yeah. intentionally when you go a certain speed over the speed limit. If you were his mother or father, what would you tell him? That he's a selfish old. idiot. One of these days, I would. somebody is gonna get in I his would. way, and that person. She say, "Let's go, to shit. Listen, many people she might be a serial killer, and if he but I'm a daddy, daddy, you can't kill me. I would. Nobody else deserves daddy. Daddy. to have that kind nah, of. Nah, she don't look like she got the daddy. Those are some big ass sweatpants. No, those are some big sweatpants. If she really had the daddy, she would have burned. I mean, your car is but actually she's old as hell. like a she's weapon of that. mass destruction to have Nigga. to be handled. Bro, when I'm old as hell, bro, I'm going to still be going to the gym, bro. Why wouldn't I, nigga? Cause, bro, you don't understand. Now I'm saying like I'm going to be a deal, bro. Like, about, she's, not, she's not worried about showing her fat ass. And you're just chilling. You're in the airport, nigga. All right, shut the fuck up. Nigga think he know people. With care. Worse than being drunk and getting behind the wheel because you're actively making the choice to put other people's lives at risk. The it's steepest price. price I bet it's still wet. Oh no, no, I gotta lie, that nigga's a menace. Nah, no, I gotta lie, he, he's too horny. He might have to get timed out. He might have to get timed out. He's too horny. Like if a no, don't talk about it. But that's that was crazy. I gotta lie, it's crazy. It's a rip warning yeah. for that one person. Oh yeah, he's tripping. Not safe at all. If he hits somebody, do you think it should be manslaughter or the first two I say manslaughter because you know what you're doing. Like, you're just driving crazy. Like, what would you tell him if you could say something to him? I'd be like, slow down. What do you think about driving like this? Oh, it's terrible. I don't like it. Like, you better stay away from him. Yeah. What should be the penalty if he's caught? Manslaughter or first degree? That's some other debate. If he hits somebody? You mean if he kills somebody? It's vehicular manslaughter. This guy has the ability to get away from multiple police vehicles. Is he wearing a grand wrist? Was he wearing a grand wrist? What would you tell him if you could say something to him? I'd be like, because you know what you're doing, like you're just driving. Oh, no, no, no. What would you tell? I thought it was too. I don't know. Has the ability to get away from. You mean if you kill somebody? 
it's Bro, stop fucking rewinding the video. This guy the has video. the ability to get Damn. away from multiple police vehicles, and including helicopters. Right. So he hasn't been caught. Shut Yesterday, he got away from a helicopter. Oh, Where? In New York or California? New York. Wow. What kind of car is he renting? Lamborghini. I can see I was out running the cops. I guess we could hope for him hitting a telephone pole. There Turn yourself know. in, brother. You're a reckless driver. That is so weird. Hurt innocent Why the fuck would you hope for a nigga to hit a telephone pole? The fuck? Weird ass nigga. He's been making the news for his check, but I ain't no We're on our way to meet Squeeze Benz. Recently, he's been making the news he's for his right? high speed So you want somebody to hit a pole? I would just want him to just be safe, nigga. So you don't have people driving. No, you don't. You just wish that he's safe and that he doesn't hit anybody. You don't wish he hits it to a pole, nigga. The while some people see his driving as exhilarating or exciting, there's a rising sentiment that this sort of behavior is just wishing on his desk so, they, so he can get off the road. They're not understanding that. He sent us the address of a random parking garage and told us to pull up. This is what we encountered. Folks, we're on the way to talk to one of the most wanted drivers in New York, Squeeze Benz. This kid does stuff that makes my butthole pucker up. Pause. This guy is reckless. Can this guy is extreme. That? This guy drives at a very high speed. I do not drive like this. You shouldn't drive like this. And there's a reason why I'm not getting into their cars while they're driving this fast. It's dangerous. It's reckless. It's scary. Disclaimer, don't do this at home. He's kind of like a high speed fugitive. I'm always interested in the outlaws of the world. People that live on the edge. Humans Wait, so why? Are always so he just want to interview him? One Nigga, why are you not going to get in the car? Is evil Knievel only not harms himself if he fails. The UFC fighters are both signing up. They're in mutual combat but these guys if something goes wrong they harm innocent civilians so i want to ask him about that but then ask him about the outlaw the testing danger peace that lives strongly within them because i think that's interesting this is not a product placement i do not want a partnership with celsius i do not drink your drinks every single trip multiple times a day i don't absolutely love your drink guys if you want to hit me up please do i would love to talk to you otherwise i'll probably hit up prime and you know how that goes so we're pulling up to eat squeeze ben i'm excited i hope you are too you know, high speed must be an issue around here if they have a Mustang NYPD car that's got some zip to it. RIP mainstream media, it's been here if they have a Mustang that's NYPD. A Mustang? I hope you are too. You know, they got that in New York now? What the? Probably a regular Mustang. I ain't even, I ain't never seen this before. Must be an issue around here if they have a Mustang NYPD car that's Mustang got some zip GT? to it. RIP mainstream media, it's I been know, a great sure. run. Kudos to you for lasting as long as you have. But that's it. I mean, that's you're finished. It's sorry. In honor of that, RIP mainstream media. Sweatshirts available. TommyGMcGee.com. Oh my uh, God, dude! What the f is this Batman, dude? Yo, that's just how crazy yo sick I appreciate the game. On a scale of one to ten, how wanted would you say you are? Probably a ten. Nobody's more wanted than me. Really? Yeah. That's insane. Wait, hey, what? Wanted would you say you are? Probably a ten. Nobody's more wanted than me. Really? Yeah. That's insane. It started like about a year ago. I got my first Benz and I always did like little driving videos and I never really took it to nothing. And then my boy started saying, like, you know, mad people are blowing up off this. And I was just like, you know. That's just how it started. I'm curious, like you have a Lamborghini, at one point a Mercedes Benz, I'm sure you go through a lot of different cars. Are you going on tour and just driving because those cars are crazy? crazy. Are you guys getting your own cars? Like, tell me about that. I had my own car for a bit, but then I changed it up because I did get chased a lot. So I just realized, like, you know, doing long-term rentals is just a way better route. And then obviously I don't tell these guys I'm speaking back. Did you ever get blown up by the tour people asking what the hell happened? They do ask, and then like, I kind of just like, you know, I'm just driving the car, you know what I mean? You mix danger, but there's also other people at risk when you do that. Innocent civilians. So what do you think about the element of danger for that? I've been doing this since like real shit since I was nine. I used to take my dad's car out and I used to just bug out. I've been doing this for so long now that I feel like I'm, I'm sorry, but you're actually so hot. This will be my third time leaving your stream to rub my clit to your Instagram pictures tonight. Y'all niggas okay. Man, play the video, man. Nah, cause niggas is saying, niggas is saying, oh, you, nobody commented that. Nobody commented that. Yo, stop dick rotting, look. Stop dick rotting. Stop dick rotting, look. He already got him out of there. That's what I'm saying. That's why you ain't see it. He already got him out of there. That's a W why mod. That's a why W mod. Why ban him though? Nigga, shut up, nigga. Corey do what he want, nigga. 
I, I you can't do what you want. Oh, I did I some professional eyes. Like, you know, niggas know, like, that's how I drive. There's been incidents where I've gone out with people and they try keeping up with me and they cry. How fast do you go? I mean, there's been a video on live where I've gone one hand to 210 miles an hour. Filming with one hand, driving with the other 210 miles an hour. Yeah. That's insane. Did that scare you? Not really. It's just to build up a tolerance of just speed. Do you feel like the police watch your Instagram? 100%. They do. Let's pop in the car and keep the conversation going. I think it's so well deserved. Well deserved. Oh, he got in the car! How many people normally f you out compared to like, am I in the high end of no, the high end. <laughs> That's okay. Does your mom worry about you? Or I call her, she don't even want to hear the things that I'm doing. She be getting scared because she know I be doing shit, like, you know what I mean? Do you know any friends that have gotten really hurt or died doing my, this? My boy, he was racing, and he knocked up, and he hit his head, and his head, like, split open a little bit, he needed stitches, but, like, other than that, nothing's ever happened. <laughs> Tell me about the camera. <laughs> Nigga say that shit so casually! Yeah, his head like split open and shit like that, but like, yeah, nah, he Gucci. <laughs> in New York, how hard is it to evade, capture, or awareness of the police? Super easy. A lot of people are like, like, they be doing crimes with their plates on. Like, I mean, if I go and run from a cops, I'm gonna make sure I either have uh, altered plates or no plates at all. New York City is home to one of the most advanced camera surveillance networks on the planet. An Amnesty International project identified that there are more than 25,000 public and private cameras at traffic intersections across the city. This camera technology can capture faces and other details from up to 400 feet away. This infrastructure isn't cheap either. This camera technology combined with cell phone tracking tools, spyware, and facial recognition racked up nearly $3 billion in expenditures from the NYPD from 2007 to 2019. When street racers run rampant in the city, it's easy for governments to make the argument to increase the surveillance in it's order like to shut down this reckless and endeavor behavior. And nothing, However, this same technology can also be used it. to capture the profiles of millions of civilians oh, on a daily basis, something that is currently happening in China and that many Americans are afraid as technology such as AI facial recognition and high def cameras increase in quality, this is a challenge we are going to have to wrestle with to ensure the very tech that can help keep us safe also doesn't grow too powerful to infringe upon our freedoms. Who's bad? Who's this what are the different no, penalties for if you got caught doing what we were doing? Jail time. I'm running red lights. I'm doing more than triple the speed limit, double the speed limit. This is a lot of tickets to it. You did a video in Times Square recently, right? Yeah. I gotta send it back for all my insecurities. Nah, this shit was actually crazy. Time. That cut through the drip was actually crazy. I ain't gonna lie, that was actually crazy. Yeah, nah, this right here was ridiculous. I ain't gonna lie, that's actually ridiculous. It only takes one mistake. To that's yo, that is actually like maneuver. Like, that. it just like we were also like, it was a lot of people 12 o'clock in the morning. You seen in the video, like, I stopped, looked around, made sure there was nobody, and started doing the other. And then when I was running the red lights, I'm not gonna lie, I was low key bugging. I low key know how to run red lights. I've been chased by my cops to the point where I could blow the red lights doing 60 70. No, I'm not gonna get yeah, What is your that's strategy crazy. in getting away from you? Well, yeah, it's a strategy. Cops, like, oh, it's all really coming. Go for There's that. no it's strategy, bro. It's all luck. It's dead ass luck. Cause if there's another him speeding at a hundred, a hundred miles per hour, we're done. He's done. They're not maneuvering through that, bro. Like Ben's they can they evade they detection they, for so long. they do so by altering or covering just, up their it, license you, plate so the nah, car cannot really be tracked by police uh, or the traffic cameras. Cars yeah, with this right, modification right, right, right. have the nickname right. Ghost Cars. Last month, a joint task force was launched between New York Governor's Kathy Hochul, New York Mayor Gio, Eric Adams, you. the NYPD, Go and the man. MTA to crack down on the issue of ghost cars. In their first day alone, they impounded 73 cars, issued 282 court summons, and made eight arrests. And I noticed the same thing back home in Milwaukee. The guys running through the red lights, driving the stolen cars, and driving aggressively, most of them do not have license plates. What's the longest police chase you've been in? 30 minutes, 20 minutes. That's a pretty guys. long chase. How many guys do you think were chasing you at one time? It had to be like three, four, but the main thing was the helicopter. That was a really hard to go to. Car chase you can't Luckily, it was late night. I was in the Porsche, and that shit does 210 miles an hour. So I just hopped in the highway, you know what I mean? The helicopter can only go so fast. You go fast in the helicopter? Yeah, they only like top out like 150, 140. You crash into somebody, they get paralyzed, they die. Do you think you deserve to go to prison? Yes. <laughs> Obviously, I wouldn't want to be put in prison. This nigga know the speeds of the helicopter. Like, that's somebody's mother, brother, cousin, whatever the case is. If somebody crashed into my mom and her car, and they killed her, I'd want them to go to jail. You know what I mean? Maybe not for life, but just enough to get it in their head, like, you know? What makes taking these risks Maybe 
we're not for life. I ain't gonna lie. Really Somebody back into my mother, really any one of my like families. I ain't gonna lie. Have you said you've been driving since you were nine years old? I would want the worst for them. I can't count. Call him. Call him. I ain't gonna lie. I want the worst for them. How many police chases do you think you've been? More than my hand. There's been so many times where like the boys just get behind us and they start chasing. Or like it's not really chases to us. It's really back home. Do you think you're wow. the most wanted driver in New York? Between me and where's 981, like where's 981 low key died down, I feel like I've taken over that spot. So yeah. I'm sure there are a lot of young <laughs> men that watch your content. What do you think about kids that want to go try and replicate this, copy this? From Sweeney's Benz himself, he is. not come try this. This is something that you can get paralyzed, you could die. I don't drive like this, you shouldn't. Some people in this game take lots of risks, and Sweeney's is one of those guys, but highly advise you never to do this. How sophisticated is the camera system in New York? It's getting more sophisticated now to where, like, you know, it'll take them probably two, three days to really find where you was at, you know what I mean? How do you stash your That's vehicle crazy. so that the police don't trace you to your house? I pay for a garage. I have one parking garage where I park my car. So just like a drug dealer has trap houses, you have different... I have trap houses, yeah. Oh my God, are you nervous at all? I'm fucking nervous. <laughs> <laughs> the boys are right here. Why you doing this something that young men grab it? Yo, what? Let's talk about Wait, brain is development. Is that the belt? That little roundabout, it looked like the belt. Why do you think this is something that young men gravitate towards? Let's talk about brain development in young men. The male brain does not fully mature until about 25, so their prefrontal cortex that assesses risk is not fully developed yet, which helps to explain the risky behavior we see in this segment of the population. There's wait. a name for this, young male syndrome. So wait, is that the reason why I'm like this? Like what? Yo, cause I don't lie, I really haven't, like I really haven't started growing facial hair until I was like 24, 25, like real shit. So God. I feel like my brain, no, my brain is like, is like, like a later bloomer than, than everybody else. I bro, like, bro, I'm 20, I'm 22. I've been going to business since I was 18. Exa okay. And that's what I'm saying. They said that the male, like certain, first of all, I don't give a you done grown nigga. Your hair don't grow. <laughs> This sometimes short-sighted behavior is hypothesized to have provided an evolutionary advantage. A 2001 University of Liverpool study found that females prefer brave males who take risks to the ones that do not. And if we go back thousands of years to being hunter-gatherers on the savannah, this preference makes sense, as a female would want the male that fends off the lion or that like me for when real. another rival tribe approaches. Biologically, not much has changed in our brains then, but our technology has progressed much further. And then when I be saying, when I be saying, oh... You know, I'm not gonna say it. Because niggas be saying, oh, yo, it's okay, you're racist. When I be saying to, like, my friends, yo, bro, that nigga used to be, you know I mean? outside, like, really towing spears. People say, I'm, I'm, like, racist or, like, like, how? This is in their culture, bro. Biologically, not much has changed in our brains then, but our technology has progressed much further. And it helps to explain why you Hold see on. young men with high speed chases I'm still hearing it though. drifting through Times Square. What's the craziest getaway story you have? I'll be the one with the helicopter. I pulled up on that highway patrol in the truck, he was about to pull someone over. So I got behind him, I started playing with him, and I was recording. I got away, obviously. A week later, I started getting chased by two, three black chargers. I'm looking up, and I see the helicopter above me, and I'm like, Oh no! Nah. It was only like my second other ever helicopter chase, so my heart was bumping. I'm not knowing how hard these guys are gonna go for me right now. They're gonna set a roadblock up, something, you know what I mean? But thank God that wasn't the case. Like a spike strip. That's never happened to me. I don't need to give these niggas advice, but like, I don't know why they don't use spike strips. Is it hard for you not to be going fast right now? Honestly, yeah. <laughs> if New York really wanted to step their game up, they should put a place where people can do this and have fun in a safe environment. If you give us a spot, we're gonna use it. How long do you see yourself doing this for? It's not gonna be a forever thing. Eventually, it's gonna turn into a brand. How often do you drive? 
reckless. It's every day but to the limit. Wait, what did he say? Wait, uh, wait, he said if, if they give us a what? My fault, chat. They said a roadblock of something, you know what I mean? But they thought that wasn't the case. Like a spike strip. That's never happened to me. I don't need to give these niggas advice, but like, on the white only. These niggas. This nigga's white saying that, by the way. I know it's either he's Italian or Hispanic. Hard for you not to be going fast right now? Honestly, yeah. <laughs> if New York really wanted to step their game up, they should put a place where people can do this and have fun in a safe environment. If you give us a spot, we're gonna use it. How long do you see yourself doing? Oh, probably white Hispanic, maybe Albanian. How often do you drive reckless? Every day Maybe from Sheep's Head Bay. Let's talk about reckless driving in the United States. In 2021, there were 6 million car crashes and 39,500 of them were fatal. A survey by the insurance company Why do you Nationwide think he's Italian, found not that. White? If you don't think Italian is white, you're an idiot. Like, bro, if they European. really wanted to, bro, they could just search up the name behind his YouTube channel, where he's getting his payout from. They could really find out who this nigga is. Uh, Why would he put it in his name? You think he's doing somebody else? Yes, what the fuck? Yeah, that would just be dumb. That's the start, though. Whoever he's using, they could, that's but even even if uh nigga YouTube, YouTube can't disclose their their thing until actually no, nah, I'm pretty sure they can because of what he's doing is illegal, right? Yeah. If the cops actually like go to them, I don't know. I don't fucking yeah. know how that works. Forty-seven percent of Gen Z reported driving faster than the speed limit, and thirty-four percent of them reported video chatting while driving. Actions like this help contribute to car crashes being the leading cause of death for American teenagers. Another Damn concerning it, fact is the up? amount of pedestrians killed. Um, brother, that's what I'm saying. If he's going through somebody else, somebody else's information. First of all, you can get physical checks. You can literally get physical checks from YouTube by reckless driving. And, and, if, and if he's renting cars, he said long-term rentals. I don't think money's a problem with this nigga, bro. Wow. He rented a long-term Lambo truck. 2022, yeah, probably, there were 7,500 yeah, deaths in this manner. In New York, vehicular... Loser? No, no, that's a lot. You say you was finna rap? I said that's a lot. Oh. Manslaughter is a felony that carries a steep sentence of up to 15 years. We took... In New Wait, York, what? vehicular manslaughter is a felony that carries oh. a steep sentence of up to 15 years. We took two Polaroids, oh, they're fresh off the press, like still developing. Like... We're going to put them in two oh, random nigga, people that buy merch in the next life. 48 hours. Two people will get squeeze bands, Tommy G, Polaroid photos, RIP mainstream media, big dogs got to eat. Hope to send this to you. Available on Patreon only are the wild and extended cut versions he of the own a 9-11 pours? Bands, including one right after he got finished with a helicopter chase, extended cut interview with swim team, and more. This is some good shit. Patreon. Gotta be Albanian, yeah, and I ain't gonna lie, them Albanian niggas, they be, they be doubly sanctioned to say, like, uh, even though they white, they really like culture, like, I jack my Albanian niggas. We find ourselves in another parking garage, meeting with New York driver Where's 981 and his crew, the swim team. Swimming refers to the driving technique where they cut up, weaving in and out of traffic to get where they want to go. They've gained a lot of notoriety online, and I wanted to talk to them to learn more about them. The faster you go and the more dangerous you drive, Whoa! the more views you get. Yo! I ain't gonna lie, yo, that's... Point up to meet the that right there was actually crazy. The groups of the but I know, that, I know that's a game. I know that's a setup, team. but it just looks crazy still. Like, they call me Float. It used to be called Float Apostle. So, like, I guess it's like a, like a teacher. I would teach you how to float. And then it just turned into, like, you know, we started crying up and stuff. It was almost like we were swimming through... Is that me? me? That gotta be me. That gotta be me. There's no way that's not me. Turned into like you know we started crying up and stuff. It was almost like we were swimming through traffic, and they'll call me like Michael Phelps. Yo, that looks exactly like my car. Fast you go. Stay free, shot, free. I'm hitting 150 every day. It's easy to hit 150, bro. Like it's triple digits no matter what. You're 50. Nah, that's 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 Have you had any near misses? Well, nah, I'm not saying yeah, that for you. If I'm in Mexico, it's hard to pull it off. I'm not gonna try and teach you how to do it because of the simple fact that someone can get hurt. Thank you that I have not hurt anybody. It's like shooting a gun in an open field, like. Anybody can get hit with a straight bullet. If you hit somebody and they get really injured or die, what should be the punishment you think? I'm, I'm going to jail a thousand percent. Yeah, it's worth it. Why? It's not worth it. That's the thing. I can't justify it, you know? What's it like being in a high-speed chase? Your first time, it feels crazy, bro. Like, you're like, like you're scared to go home some way somehow you make it home you, you have a little bit of tough a tough night of sleep that first night and then you make it to the second night you make it to the next night and they never come after that it just you get numb to it you know what are the laws in new york for chasing people because i know in milwaukee oftentimes they don't chase you at a certain speed because they know it results in civilian deaths a lot of times when the chase happens I, it depends on the cop honestly i've seen cops where one of my boys just 
He's going off road, off road in New York. That was his boys. Following him off the road. They just take that one, you know, that one cop that's just ready to be like, all right, I'm coming for you, and it's over. What does your mom think about this? I bring my mom to work. She's going 150. She didn't. She didn't get scared. In her eyes, she knows I'm a good driver. Like, she got mother's prayers, of course. She's gonna always pray for me, make sure everything works out every single time. But she's not too stressed. You created. Swim. <sighs> I wouldn't say I created Swim, so it started off as a joke between me and Bob, um, right? Cody swimming, and then we're like, why does that sound kind of nice? So I'm here with. We're going for the We do 50. Where is not anyone? No. And I'm Tommy G, allegedly. Yo, all these niggas always have beamers, bro. Is the high speed specialist. Oh my god, I think it's just time for me to get a beamer, bro. Yeah, he's a nasty old boy. He likes flying, drift, go fast. What's the fastest you guys have ever gone in a car before? 170? That's the fastest? It's life or death speed. What makes it worth it for you to put yourself in that position where you could go to the afterlife if you're not careful? Rush, man. Don't know rush. I'm not driving. I just drive to death. I think it's a Reaper FX8, it's Phantom. <laughs> I never like hopped in a car and went that fast off rip. It's kind of like you know, I got used to it slowly, you know, building up like a tolerance to the speed. But if you're watching this and you're a driver, then you know what I mean when you feel the rear wheels do the, the seat of the car. That you're is, super in tune. Nah, that ass, that ass. Real shit. You have senses from the seat, the steering wheel. Audio cues, how loud the engine is, if your tires are squealing. You have so many cues in it, and it's really up to you to take all that sensory input and be able to, like, really lock in properly. It's like, we're not trying to do this shit forever. Like, we genuinely want to hop on the right. and just go crazy. It's just to try. I guess I'm not like that. Right. I'm going to just say, I'm going to just ask, like, as well as in the car with Mikey. Hmm. Am I like that? What? Cutting up. Am I like that? Yeah, you say, you, you, you decent. I'm decent. So you think? Yeah. So would you say you're better than me? Yeah. Do you guys know anyone that has crashed or died or gotten injured doing this? Crash for sure, but nobody got seriously hurt. Anybody were to seriously get hurt or crash or anything? Not better than Zay. You as Zay caliber. There's a risk of hurting someone that's completely. Someone could be on their way to work. Someone could be going to pick up their kid from soccer practice. Like, how does that factor in your driving and what you think about when you drive? I get left, I get stuck, I get stuck for me. What does that mean when you get left? If I'm following 91 or I'm following flow, and they think the cut I can't take, I'm not taking it. I'm going, we swim, we swim for each other, we drive for each other, we drive for each other. <laughs> I know exactly how you're going to say to me. I'm going to say to Just ask, just ask streamers that's been in the V with me and I'm driving, man. That's it. Females, males. Doesn't matter. You guys had a near miss. Females, males. There was this one time where he took a cut. Right after he took the cut, it was either I fit the cut or I'm going. It's funny saying this, but we're not criminals. We have real life jobs. We yeah. have insurance on our cars. We pay for our cars. Like, people think, oh, it's daddy's money. Like, you know, that should be pissing me off, bro, because I did work hard as for this shit, bro. <laughs> you guys mom know about this. <laughs> she knows, and she tells me every day to stop. And I tell her, look, I'm trying. We have a brand swim team, right? We're not trying to cut our breakfast 24 7, bro. Like we got a, a 5M service coming up, a set of courses service coming up. And honestly, Is it Mitsubishi like, a V6 or V8? A Nigga, it's so, it was an Outlander. It was like a... It was probably a V4. It's like one of those stories like the, like like the big SUV. Kind of what do you say to the people that are like super pissed when they see what you do? They're like, that's reckless, it's selfish, it's dangerous, people could die. What, what do you say to those type of folks? Honestly, bro, it's a great. I agree with them, bro. I don't even argue with them. Bro. I don't argue with them, bro. I don't argue with them either. When people look at accidents and they see like us cutting up and like racing through traffic and all the bunch of dumb stuff, they see it as not precise. Like they're thinking like we're just out there and we're trying to crash. We're not trying to crash with anything. I would argue that. We're on the road, we're actually paying attention to the road more than anyone else on the road. Bruce, that's, he's not capping. Drinking and driving. Huh. And, and, and. Drinking and driving. Texting and driving, bro. Yo, bro, when you're coming up, you're not, yo, bro, you're not looking at your phone, you're locked in the most, bro. Yeah, I'm proud to say that. Like, Tell me what. Really I'm not advocating I'm any of this, you feel me, because if anybody, if anybody has lost a loved one to, uh, to vehicular, uh, manslaughter or, 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 or car crash, you know. I, I wouldn't want that for anybody, you know what I'm saying? Rest in peace to anybody that has lost. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, work. 
Tell me what's going through your head in the police chase. How do you get away? What are you thinking about? Are you trying to go a few streets and take an exit? You got a hideout? Like, how do you evade police in this type of situation? There's people that might watch what you do doing. Like hold on. Police have not caught you yet. Uh, what is your answer? I mean, truly, the way that we don't get caught is to stop being dickhead. New York has a no chase policy. I can say this because I've been like, at least in swim, at least. I got into the most cop chases, right? I'm not saying that because I like that. I got the worst luck, bro. I'm very honest. It's not the worst luck on the point. I want to know what the legal. Wait, what? Because I've been like, at least in swim, at least. I got into the most cop chases, right? I'm not saying that because I like that. It's I got the worst luck, bro. I'm very honest. It's not the worst luck on the point. I wanted to know what the legal perspective was on what swim team, squeeze bends, and all these other New York drivers were doing. What were the legal ramifications? How much jail time could they face? And why is it that they were so brazen about continually doing this? I talked to my guy Nate the lawyer to figure out more about this. He's a lawyer that runs a YouTube channel and breaks things down regularly. This is what he had to say. My name is Nate the lawyer. I'm a former prosecutor and a former law school professor. And what you've just seen on screen is known as reckless driving. In the state of New York, you could serve up to a year in prison if you recklessly drive. Reckless driving in New York is simple. It's if you drive in a manner that, quote, unreasonably interferes with the free and proper use of the public highways or unreasonably endangers users of the public highway. Reckless driving is ways or unreasonably endangers users of that the really public highway like bends, reckless bro. driving is prohibited every person violating this I'm provision shall be guilty of a misdemeanor meaning you can serve up to a year in jail if someone is injured or killed during the act of reckless driving you could find yourself facing some serious charges dangerous and disturbing exclusive video of young people driving their cars recklessly just before one of the cars crashed and killed two people. Now this driver was charged with manslaughter and criminally negligent homicide. Why He's facing laughing? up to 10 years in prison. If you are doing something that you know you is inherent. two people and it's only 10 years in prison? What the f I gotta lie, me being a person that lost, I gotta wait outside. I gotta wait outside that prison for him. I gotta, I gotta dangerous and could get someone killed or hurt, and then you do it anyway. That the law finds that. to be reckless oh, no. and criminal in some cases. Driving a car 90 miles an hour in a 50 mile an hour zone is reckless. Someone could get hurt. Someone could get killed. And if someone does, then you are on the hook for that homicide. There may be no fear of repercussions because of New York's bail reform laws. The misdemeanor of reckless driving, as you see on the screen, isn't eligible for bail. If someone commits this crime 10 times in the same screen, isn't eligible. Mikey. That's not your car, bro. Mikey, are you not understanding? Yo, Mikey, are you not seeing that what like he- Mikey, like are you not seeing what he has on his plate? What? Oh, the, oh, the shit that, um... The I cover. Did. But that's probably no place, period. No, he has a cover. Bro, you're not the only nigga with a cover, bro. I, I don't know what to talk about. I don't have a cover. I never said that. I don't know why you're saying that. I don't have, that. I don't have a cover. Uh, Eligible for bail. If someone commits this crime 10 that times silver? in the same day, they'll get bail every know. time because of New York's bail reform laws. Now, some of you may not believe how insane New York's bail reform laws are, but they are insane. Like this guy who was arrested 101 times for shoplifting and let go every time because of New York's bail reform laws. Or this guy who was arrested for three assaults in one day, even through a brick through a store window. He was released every single time on bail reform. Or the story of these four people who chopped up two bodies, left body parts all around the state of New York, and then when the cops went to their home, they found blood, body parts, guts, everything in their home. Guess what the judge did? He released them without bail. When you put everything together, I think these guys are doing it because they don't really have any fear that they're going to kill anybody. And if they get caught reckless driving, they'll get arrested and charged, but they'll probably be let out the same day on bail reform. Then we can go out and do it again. If you need legal advice, if you're looking to this YouTube video to help you in your case, you're looking at the wrong place. Niggas chop said, somebody up. Now. And got let out? After hearing what Nate the lawyer said, hearing the that there's block, no consequences block, really out. for what these guys are doing, it makes sense why they're doing it. Back to the swim team. How often do you guys get nervous doing this? So when I started I used to get super nervous, especially when I used to run. And the reason I started running is not because I like I don't like cops. It's simply because like it got to a point where I can't afford the tickets anymore. Because I was getting single.
single belt for no reason. The speed limit is 50, right? So I would be on the belt more quick and I'm going 70, 75. I'm doing the same speed everyone else can do that. Mm-hmm. However, when the state trooper sees everyone else and me, they single me out because I'm in a white port. So then they think I can afford the ticket, but I, in the beginning I could, but then that shit started stacking up. And if you're going to say, oh, then just don't speed, I wasn't speeding. I was just keeping up with the flow of traffic, right? And then I just started running one day because I just couldn't afford the tickets anymore. It just started from there. I was super nervous at first. You gotta tell more of these too. After the first time, I only got nervous one more time after that. And that was only because I got taken over. How many people were after you? 15 cars? 15 cars? And he got low? Do you guys have to get away from helicopters before? I never had to. Thanks God. Honestly, I feel like I don't do that. Has the news reached out to any of you guys? Oh, yeah, of course. Bro, I ain't going for it. This is crazy. I'm like 87. Rage, I just want to play Bow. Yeah. Can you talk to me about my content? Tell him give me eight minutes. I don't like that. 15 minutes. This man who's already talking about this event. So, news reporters have reached out to you guys. They DM you, they text you, they email you. Okay, so Ali Bauman from CBS New York. Yes, he did me twice. I was like, no, shoot me. I just never Oh y'all trying to kill her? Me and Angela, I'm gonna run down. I'm gonna like, Angela. I'm only I'm only letting you do an ad if we go on a date. Hold on, how she look? How she look? Ali bombing. How she look? Let me see. Am I horny? Is that horny? I ain't gonna lie, just it's because of the fact she's a news reporter, bro. It's because of the fact she's a news reporter, bro. Bro, what is your problem, bro? I ain't gonna lie, though, gang. Mikey, come on, dog. Come on, dog. Is she hit you up? Come on, Mikey. Come on, gang. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie, Mikey. Can't cap. Can't cap. Come on, Mikey. You not. She's not all that. Nah, she's not all that. Not at all. But it's a fact that she's a news reporter, though. What, you got like a fetish? Mm, A little bit. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie, when I was younger, I've always liked an older woman, though. I can't count. So, Chad, say y'all wouldn't, bro. Say y'all wouldn't, bro. I would. Oh, 100% I would. What? Bro. Wait, like, is that crazy? Like, dragging. when I was... You're dragging. When I was 17... When I was 17, 18... Nigga, I would... Nigga, I ain't gonna nah, lie. Nah, no cap, I ain't gonna lie. In second grade, bro, I had the biggest crush on my teacher, bro. She used, too. Stand, she used to stand in the middle of the classroom... To like copy what's on the board, and she used to always wear these tight ass jeans. Ass was so fat, bro. Oh my. I used to just look at her, bro, and just used to imagine what I would do to her. Nah, I can't lie. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. And and if you and if you're one of her kids and and and, and you're watching this or you see, end up seeing this, yo, I had a a sixth grade homeroom teacher. No, a sixth grade homeroom teacher. Her name was I, bro. I remember her name vividly because it's like this was like the love of my life, bro. I told this woman I loved her, nigga. Your teacher? Yes, I said I love you. And I lie. You know what's so crazy? Mm. Like I said it on some like on some where like she turned her back and I said I love you, right? And then she turned around and she was like, "What did you say?" And but she didn't really hear what she said. And then the girl next to me said, "Oh, he said he loves you." And then the whole class started dying. Like the whole class started dying because she was like just like looking, and she was like, "Oh, it's okay because I love him too." And I got a word to, bro. That shit made me feel crazy. Bro, I just knew it, though. I just knew what it was, though, because I knew she wasn't going to let me. Feel me? I, I look like a kid back then, bro. But I feel like, I feel like word to, bro. If I was in the gym in the sixth grade, I would have killed. I'm going to just keep it a buck. I'm going to just keep it a buck. I'm going to keep it a buck. Because I, I would have looked, like cra- looked like a crazy young ass nigga because my genetics is, is tough. Especially yeah, when I, I was younger. Know. No, I'm just keeping a buck, bro. I'm just keeping a buck. I really wish I was in the gym in the sixth grade, bro. Cause oh my god, bro. Her name was Miss Tolstein. Yo, she was the yo oh my god. She was the baddest Jew Magny. I've ever seen in my life, bro. I think her name was Miss Magni, bro. How fun. Miss Magni. Oh, you remember? What her name? Yeah, her name. Her name is Miss Magni. Yeah. I think I had a teacher like what, that. Wait, what school you went to? I went to the school, um, so I went to two schools, but the school that she was at was um, University Elementary. Wait, is that like right off the, um, is that like 
25 minutes like away from uh the city what city like new york uh now like 40 yo i did i just went to a school in the seventh grade this was second grade. I'm, this was second grade. That's what I just said. The second grade, nigga. Oh, I think it's at a seven. Wait, was it? A, it was not a Catholic school, right? But there was a Catholic school, like, a, like in the in the area. Yeah, there was a Catholic school at a church, uh, Saint Leo. Oh my church. god! <gasps> Yo, Mikey. What? Yo, I dad went to that school. Oh god! I'm dead ass. You went to a Saint Leo? No. The, uh, the university. Uh, nigga, I went there, bro. There was a middle school. There was a middle school next to it, right? Yes. Like, it was University Middle and then University Elementary. <laughs> right? <laughs> I was what made you say no to her and yes to me? You said what? I was sorry. I was sorry. <laughs> I was I was talking because you dead ass actually believe me like I I'm just, I just so how you know there's a, you know a Catholic school <laughs> nigga I just guessed. <laughs> <laughs> this is what troll it is. Nigga thought he went to the same school. <laughs> They have no journalistic nah, you background to be beating them at their own game. Oh my god. I feel like people in our generation just don't trust the news. They've lied so many times that their credit's gone with us. Pull over, take the tracker out the whip. Play the Pull over, take the tracker out the whip. Range Rover Sport, I'm on the jackie doing tricks. Keep swimming, got the paddles in the ship. Let's meet the swim team and let's hear their specialties. Well, swim team, you already know. And what's your specialty? My specialty is uh, floating. All I do is float. That's my name, that's what I do, it's everything. Nah, you feel like Mikey, you remember that? You remember that? That, that Ben truck in LA? That Floating. I, I would say I'm kind of camera shy, mm -hmm. but like my specialty is like I do a little bit of everything. But when it comes to like the uh, you know the corporate side of things, you know, so what would you say I was doing like, then? What would you say I was doing then? Was I floating or, or, or swimming? Floating. Mm. I'm basically like a very I like that. that whole. Wait, so you're trying to turn this into a video game? I mean, we already kind of did. It's a game, so it's called a set of. So basically, uh, we host servers, you and drown, you just gotta take the link, hop on the server, and if any one of us happens to play on the server, you get to drive with swim risk free. Where's nine eight? Wait, what? If any of we host servers, and you just gotta take the link, hop on the server, and if any one of us happens to play on the server, you get to drive with swim risk free. Where's nine eight one and his team? Are well aware of that fans are young males that might yeah. try and replicate what they do, <laughs> and knowing that that is incredibly dangerous, his team has done something so you can join them in the safety of your home. They built this online Assetto Corsa server so you can drive, swerve, drift, whatever you want. All you need is a computer, internet connection, and it's recommended you have a steering wheel. Details to join the server are in my description. Do you think you're wanted by law enforcement? They definitely know about us. I mean, me specifically, I have no clue. If I am wanted, I'm sorry. I don't hate NYPD, I just don't want to take it. What do you go by? 350 or 350, either one is fine. And what's your specialty? Well, right now, I think the fans would probably say my specialty is probably police chases, cop chases, and stuff like that. But in my opinion, I think drifters are. How many police chases do you think you've been in? Honestly, bro. I lost count probably because I posted at least 30, I think. So I think I have. You have at least 30 police chases on the internet right now. Yeah. Why is this worth potentially going to prison? No matter how you look at it, it's not worth it at all. Me being how I am as a person, bro, is fun, bro. Who are you? So I'm Reaper. What's your specialty? I'm more of a. Nah, y'all niggas is dick sucker. That's what y'all niggas is saying all the time. That's made up. Yo, y'all niggas is dick rodders, bro. Oh my god, man. Brothers? I think it's dick riders. If they wanted to get into this, what would you tell them? I'm a hypocrite, bro. I wouldn't recommend it, bro. You don't recommend That's that. That's what I be saying. I'm a hypocrite. I feel like a hypocrite. How often bro. do you they don't do the what I do? I say if you do it right, you could probably go a year to two years where you have to swap the car if you're smart. But you could do in one night that makes you have to swap. What do you go by? 
My name's Billy. And what's Hello, your specialty? Though? Honestly, the fans kind of know me as Lester. I guess I would say that's um. If you get in trouble, you can call me. I'll help you with your situation. So what makes this worth doing? It's not <laughs> worth doing. I wouldn't recommend doing it if I were you, but I can't make your decisions for you. So if you are going to do this against our best wishes, I guess just think about other people on the road and do whatever you can to bring it home without hurting yourself, hurting anybody else, or damaging any property. Tell me how you think about taking on risks and danger. I think if you're ever going to take on any risks or any danger, whether it's physical risks or financial risks, I think you should write down every single one of the variables that could be a factor in the risk that you're that taking, and you should figure out what's the worst case scenario that could go wrong, any other kind of scenarios that could go wrong, and you want to figure out what the best case scenario that's is, and if that's wrong. worth the gamble for you, for the risks that are laid out on the table, but if those I thought he was about to take off his mask. The reward that you're going for, I think you should go for it. And if at any time you get too scared, the risks are too much for the reward, you don't want to risk it for the biscuit, then stop. Because you're not built for it. If you want That's an extraordinary it. life, you have to take extraordinary measures and risks and action, but know your lane and know when to sit out. And this is something I'm sitting out for. Also, the story of Icarus, when you have black wings and you fly too close to the sun, never feel like you got it on lock 24 7. The story of Icarus comes from Greek mythology, and it recounts the tale of Daedalus and his son Icarus, who were imprisoned on the island of Crete by King Minos. To escape Escape, Daedalus fashioned winds made of feathers and wax for him and Icarus. Warned by his father not to fly too close to the sun, Icarus disregarded this advice. As he soared higher and higher, the wax melted, causing his winds to fail, and he plummeted into the sea and drowned. This story serves as a cautionary tale warning against the dangers of overconfidence and recklessness. And this story, I think, is very That's relevant to Mr. Squeeze Benz. So why didn't they just go during the sunset? Like, if the questions I ask might sound stupid, but it really do make sense. Like, it really do make sense. Nigga, if they would have went during the sunset, it would have still been at least some light, and they would have been able to get low. Anything you got to say for the camera, brother? Shout out my son Jolly too, he couldn't make it's it. Not real, so it's not a real story, stupid a lesson. So here's the thing, I think oh, danger is good in somebody's oh. life, but when you endanger really someone happened. else while you're having your own fun, that's where I'm iffy about it. Yeah. I, I admire the courage, I admire the bravery, but when other people's lives are at risk, to me it's like it's a hard battle, you know what I mean? Like, uh, if I lost a friend because someone was just having fun on the road, I'd want to kill that guy. Uh, I also, as a young man who does dangerous things too, get it. But I highly advise you, don't try it out. <laughs> Lester. these guys here to do b-roll of their cool cars but while waiting their turn a couple of them decided to do donuts in a parking lot where there were many families because of this the police were called and in a few minutes an nypd helicopter arrived on the scene this is what happened next hello folks i'm tommy g here with the most wanted drivers in new york look they're peeling out they got peeled off on the mclaren folks I wasn't lying when I said these guys are wanted. Well, oh, folks, I think it's time we get out of here. Stay safe. Realize that Damn. the choice is you. I think it's time we get out of here. Stay safe. Realize that the choices you make can impact other people. My There's God, that's just sounds so fire. When it impacts scared civilians, we should probably get out of here. Let's go. I'm conflicted with this video, folks, because a lot of young people are going to think this is cool. And they're too, their brain is not developed enough to realize the risk to other people. And I feel like you gotta pick and choose your battles. And uh, like while it is exciting, statistically, eventually, someone is gonna crash, someone's gonna die, someone's gonna get paralyzed, and the game that sounded so fun is not so fun anymore. Went from Game Boys to Scales, now I play the mail. I flex like some fake Matty boy that he copped on his rail. Turbo sticking That's out the Civic looking like a snail. Switched to what? three times, but we lost That's the trail. That's the thrill. From out of town, What's the throw? Crack some safe like you almost died. Paddock off a pack of nays outside. But you literally was on my ass for weeks, weeks, and weeks and weeks.